Welcome to our tutorial about transfer learning. Uh, today we'll be working in PyTorch uh, using the VGG16 model and uh, applying it to the CIFAR10 dataset. Now, to start, uh, our tutorial will be done in PyTorch. Uh, to find the distribution that works best for you, go to the PyTorch.org website and use their quick start guide to download. Uh, we'll be working with the stable version on Windows. Uh, I do use Conda as my environment manager, but we'll be using uh, the pip package installer on Python, and I will be using CUDA acceleration um, using CUDA 10.1. Uh, now, for some background, uh, the VGG16 model was trained on the ImageNet dataset, uh, which is a open source data set uh, with millions upon millions of images. Uh, the VGG16 model itself was trained on uh, a thousand classes and each class had about a thousand images. So we have uh, over a million images that it's been trained on. Now for transfer learning, this is fantastic because I think transfer learning is like the bread and butter uh, for especially something like this image classification where we have a model a trained model say like VGG 16 that already has its layers trained to detect uh, features of an image and how to use that in classification now all we want to do is change the say the final layer the classification layer of that model to be uh, adapted for a different data set in our case the CIFAR 10 um, here we have uh, 10 classes, airplane, automobile, bird, cat. So what we want to do is maintain what the VGG16 model has learned from uh, the extensive ImageNet data set and reuse those trained layers for our new data set. Uh, now, I should have that right here. Now, this is our my Jupyter notebook. Uh, we'll have the code linked in the description below. Uh, where start out just like any other program, we have to import the libraries we're going to be using. Like I said, we'll be using PyTorch and TorchVision. That way, we can get the transformations for our data sets. We can even download some models through Torch Vision. Um, and we have matplotlib and numpy as well. I start by enabling GPU acceleration um, and by downloading the VGG16 model. Um, we'll be using the cross entropy loss from PyTorch and the SGD optimizer. Uh, next, I have uh, the transformation that I decided upon, feel free to use um, either of these, if not one of your own. But we will be resizing the image first and then doing a quick center crop and then transforming them to tensors so that we can use them for training. Um, now, using Torch Vision, it's very easy to load in the CIFAR 10 data set. Um, if you would like to run this experiment on your own with uh, uh, your own data sets, this is the quickest, easiest way for us. So I just load in our train set, our validation set, and our test set, and then define our 10 classes uh, for CIFAR 10. And then we can get straight into training now that we have our model and a new data set. Um, I set it for about 10 epochs. Uh, now these ran for about 19, 20 minutes each uh, with GPU acceleration. Uh, if you're just starting out and you don't have the time or the hardware to get this done uh, on your own, you can use CPU acceleration. And for the sake of experiment, just running it for one epoch is enough if it means that you're exposing yourself to this. Or use Google Colab and we can um, include a variant on, the, on this uh, that can be used there, uh, like if you don't have your own hardware for training. Uh, model. So after you run it for training, uh, you've pretty much done the hard part 
and now we can start looking at our results what the uh, how the information has been transferred to the CIFAR data set so we have a function here to show some images and um, using our validation set we're gonna see how uh, our model now predicts these new images uh, uh, so first we have the ground truth images here we have a cat a dog another dog and a deer and we can take also our predictions for those first four images and see that we get um, three out of four correct and we get a false positive on a deer for our third image um, now this also shows in uh, that detecting or classifying dogs for um, this structure has some difficulty um, but after that we can actually just see the full accuracy of our model either based on the 10,000 images that we trained on or uh, I have here separated by each class and you can see here it also has a bit of a trouble 86% um, accuracy detecting dogs compared to uh, every other class doesn't drop anywhere below 92% and some like car here and frog go up to 98 99% um, but yeah for our purposes that's pretty much it uh, transfer learning is sort of like your bread and butter um, for deep learning because uh, it's not often that you need to train a build and train a brand new model on a brand new data set when so if you do run any other experiments like this one, um, let me know what your changes were and how it affected your outcomes. But uh, thank you for watching. Thanks for joining us and uh, keep me updated on your work. Um, we'd love to hear from you. So thank you.